So let's get into um, something a bit interesting. Let's talk about relationships. Ooh. Hi guys, how are you? I hope you guys are doing well. I am Karu Culture. Today I'll be showing you how I achieve this gorgeous look. This is my 10 minute morning makeup routine look for the office. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to smash that subscribe button, give your girl a massive thumbs up and let's get into the video. We are getting up close and personal, both with my makeup routine and my life. I'm really excited to talk to you guys about everything that's been going on. This is my 10 minute makeup routine, but because it's a chatty sit down video, it will be a bit longer because I'm talking to you guys and doing my makeup at the same time. This is the YSL. So I start off with my YSL primer. I absolutely love this, it like makes your skin so, it's what literally sets the tone for your makeup. It makes your skin so airbrushed and I just, oh, it is just so good. By the way, if you see me looking over there, because there's a mirror over there. Oh gosh, it just even feels so good on the skin. It's the Touche Cloud Blair Primer and it actually has like little gold specks in it to add a glow. I literally go straight in with my foundation. I use a YSL Touche Cla foundation in the shade B90. So this is actually quite dark for me right now. It's very much so my summer shade. But YSL doesn't actually have that much of a range of foundation. So I get this and then they give me like loads of little samples to mix it with, especially in the winter. Um, yeah, I just love the formula so much and I don't know what other foundations I can trust. I don't put too much on for the office like I just want it to look like my skin but better and then I for the sample I'll use um the Touche Clark still the same foundation but in a lighter shade I think it's B80 yeah B80 it says on the back there then just put a bit of this oh Put, and put a bit on my forehead and then literally that's it all of my brushes are from real techniques i love the real technique brushes so that's what i use this is actually the sculpting brush but i use it to like buff in my foundation before i buff in my foundation with the brush i spray my face in with the nyx dewy finish setting spray i love i swear by this setting spray i love it so much I should probably explain that I have very dry skin and that's why I use the YSL foundation that I use and then I just buff it along with my foundation brush. Um, let's start off with work. So you guys know that I love the company that I work for and I am obsessed with the culture of the firm, the people, like it's so nice. And I've been really enjoying my traineeship. We're really pushed to take full advantage of the opportunity that we've been given. So we're really encouraged to like go and look at different divisions and like s figure out where we want to go next in life after our traineeship. So I've been really interested, I've said this before, but I've been really interested in ESG. Um, and I'm really interested, so, okay, so I'm really interested in a few things. I'm interested in ESG it's currently being built out and it's never really been done to this magnitude or this level before, which I'm really excited about. I'm interested in PRD, so products where they build the funds and create them and then present them to the association and it gets approved or not. So literally what me and you would be investing in or what companies would be investing in, that's what will be that's what i would essentially be on the team for creating and that's wild to me and then i'm also interested in img so the investment management group so that's the very technical um that's also very technical and i really just want to challenge myself like i love client services and i i'm learning so so much but i want to like really challenge myself and just become so knowledgeable about the investment industry and funds and all of that stuff so yeah, I'm really like looking into that. I'm so blessed, honestly, and I'm so grateful for my opportunity because it's very, it's just rare. And yeah, that's, I'm just, I'm just happy. I'm just happy with my job. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> oh, so basically after I've gone in with the buffing brush, I then also just go over it with my beauty blender. So my beauty blender is actually the um, B from Superdrug. 
this is re a really good beauty blend i must say i really do like it and for the price as well i love it it's so good yeah you can see my setup isn't the same today because i'm in italy so i'm in italy and i am loving my life right now so i took my best friend to italy for her birthday adiola i thought you know what she's an amazing babe i should just fly her out <laughs> Gosh, blimey. No, but honestly, she's like the best person. She's so supportive and such a kind, she's really nice. She's a really nice person. So I just thought, you know what? She deserves a trip. And we always talk about Italy anyway. We always go to Italian restaurants, so why, why not? The budget was there. The budget was there. Um, and then, yeah, so I was just like, why not? And we're here right now. Like this, my vibe right now is actually living life. And that's just it for me. Like, I was so happy about it, honestly. I needed a break from work as well like like things can get intense for me i'm not going to talk too much about italy because i have a vlog dropping next week so make sure you tune in for that and yeah like it, it's just been so great it's so fantastic and i'm just so happy i'm here <laughs> So next, I take my um, NARS concealer. This is the Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amand. I use Amand for work because basically I just don't like having too bright of an under eye for work. I feel like it's really unnecessary. You just do like a natural glow for makeup for work. This color, like it just, like the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, like is very creamy. I really do like this. And I'm not the biggest fan of experimental with makeup, but I took a chance on this one and it's like actually done me quite well. So I'm chuffed about that. Then I, I actually let this dry down for a bit just because I just, I want it to be like, mm, I'm here, not mm, I'm here. I actually use the um, NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil and this pencil has been revolutionary in my life. <laughs> Because I am I just like a natural brow. So what actually makes me speed up my makeup routine in the morning is that I actually shape and tint my brows myself at home. And because they're already shaped and tinted, I just literally use the micro brow pencil to fill in any gaps and make it look a bit more fluffy and full. So let's get into um, something a bit interesting. Let's talk about relationships. Ooh. <laughs> I feel like I'm like someone that dates quite frequently um and i <laughs> it's it's weird talking about this to you guys i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i'm someone that dates quite frequently and i'm young so i kind of understand that things may or may not work out but again like with my life like i'm just trying to take it a bit more easier and just be a bit more intentional to who I allow in my space. And guys, don't like get it wrong. Don't get me wrong. Like, I, I know who I'm marrying. Like, I know who my husband is. Like, don't get that twisted. I know. <laughs> well, fingers crossed anyways. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I think I just used to be so, like, set on, like, oh, I need to, like, you know, settle down and do this like right now and then this needs to happen right now but like babe just take it easy just relax yourself have a good time and i've been having a good time like and i'm just so like i'm just so happy with myself and my life and it's really weird because i i change quite frequently as a person as a human wait i'm just thinking yeah my family watches my youtube when they see this they're actually gonna clown me they're gonna be like Ooh, Who's your husband? Why haven't we heard of him? Who is he? Where is he? Bring him to us. Da, 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 da. I, I'm just gonna be like, um, babe, nah, uh, nah. My mom, <laughs> mom, when she watches this, she's gonna. <laughs> no, my mom is the big. She's the one that clowns me the most out of my, all my family members. But. <laughs> Like, no, I'm so sorry, but like, look at how fluffy it just makes your brow with minimal effort. Just minimal effort. And I kind of like how my brows are shaped anyways, like regardless. So I'm just going to leave it as that and then I'm done. So yeah, like I just feel like when it comes to me and dating, definitely just taking it easier and not rushing too much. I just feel like I always just used to like think about the future a lot. And honestly, like I'm 22, going to be 23 soon. <laughs> um, but it's, it's okay. Like 
it's okay to relax and just enjoy and have a good time and that's literally what i'm doing like with my life right now and i'm i've never been so like happy and like in control and just you know being in my flow like a lot of things have been happening for me so moving on to the next thing just to like soften up the concealer again a bit and then just pat it in but um yeah so a lot of things have been happening guys your girl has blown up on tiktok and it's just been so bizarre for me i think i made a rap so i made i show like on my tiktok i showed like what i do i just show what i do in my life like that's just the content i create so i actually just made a rap for lunch to take to the office and it blew up on tiktok <laughs> i think right now it's sitting on 800,000 views and i'm just like well damn well damn like i would say like interacting with people on like tiktok youtube you guys and um instagram like i really enjoy it and you got like you guys are funny people on tiktok absolutely hilarious like some of the comments <laughs> out of pocket wild <laughs> i love tiktok i would say i do prefer tiktok over instagram people on tiktok like they're just so much more carefree like no one gives a toss they're just there to be them and bounce and that's just that as a content creator you can kind of like you go through so many different emotions especially when you're starting out and you haven't like built up a massive platform and for me, like, I'm really hard on myself. So if, like, something doesn't do as well as I thought it would have, have, I just, yeah, I just, it's just, it is disappointing. But do you know what? I've learned to teach myself to enjoy the journey and the process rather than just always thinking about the, um, the following and the outcome um but yeah content creating has been fabulous it's also given me so many opportunities so i'm doing something in a couple of weeks that is massive like massive to me and i'm nervous but i'm really excited but you guys will see about that very very soon basically this has dried down enough now um <laughs> just been chatting away i use the ysl souffle de Clair, um powder in shade three the, sorry but the aesthetics of the ysl makeup is just yeah beautiful i love it and then i use this to set my face but because i have dry skin like it after i've blended out my concealer under my eye like it's a very it has to be a very quick process for me to like pat it dry so it doesn't crease like crazy let's talk about friendships 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 like I love my friends because they are so low maintenance and I like I said I'm quite a busy person so I like I can talk to my friends but I go through these weird spells guys where I'm just a bit like I don't want to talk to anyone unless I need to or we've planned something that's when I'll talk to you but if we haven't planned anything like I, I, I just won't really speak to you <laughs> and that's okay so my friends are really calm like i've become like a lot more open to like introducing new people into my life like i'm not always like i'm very closed off like that's one thing my friends will tell you like, i don't make friends because i don't want any more friends like my friends are awesome and they're busy as well like my friends have ish popping off for them um in almost every capacity so when we talk or when we meet up or whenever something happens where we see each other again like it's always like big vibes and yeah i feel like i'm open to making new friends though like i actually made a new friend last week last week or two weeks ago and it all started with a dm <laughs> it's just so funny because we actually went to the same uni and i just I just never knew let's talk about finances guys like finances for me have been going super well ever since i started doing a, a budget spreadsheet just being more careful and sh disciplined with myself with my money and being honest with people as well like if i have no money to go out i'm literally gonna say i'm not going anywhere we can do dinner at your house that's something i've actually started doing with my friends having dinner at their house if i have no money because i'm an adult like i'm not going to pretend i have cash dollar that i don't and that's absolutely fine like who are you living life for for everyone else or yourself and 
that's just become so much more prominent to me i have a goal of saving over half of my salary this year and i'm really intrigued to see how that's gonna go it's been going well so far by the way i'm using the um i can't remember if it's the contour brush or the i think it's actually the concealer brush if i'm being real um yeah i'll link all of the products that i'm using and all the brushes and stuff down in the description box by the way because i have a super dry skin i literally use the lightest touch of powder like i don't bake i don't bake at all like never in my life even if i'm doing a full beat like i'll never bake you will just never see me do that next what i use is my morphe palette so this is an eyeshadow palette but i use it for everything i use it for eyeshadow i use it for contour i use it for blush so this is the 3502 yeah the 3502 palette and i'm going to just like bronze up my face add a bit more um color into it so i use these two shades here you can see the pans are almost empty and i go in with my contour brush this is actually a contour brush from um, real techniques and i just dip it up dip it up and then brush up just there just a little bit of contour for the office just a little bit not anything too wild and then i do like the temples of my head like so And then yeah and then i take my buffing brush oh, this brush is a saving grace i absolutely love this buffing brush i take it everywhere with me once i've done my makeup and i just buff it out like so yeah once i've done like my base i actually go in with the powder and the sponge again and what i like to do is i like to spray the bottom of the sponge the bottom of the beauty blender and just pat it in this literally just melts the makeup all together and i just i just love how it makes me look oh my gosh i suffer from smile lines so badly so i barely put makeup around that area so now i actually go in with some blush just to add like more like dimension and color to my face because i don't like to do anything wild for the office but i love a bit of blush that's one thing i do love i use these two oranges here and just tap tap oh this is also like a this was a limited edition brush but i believe they still do this brush in real techniques it's just a blush brush and then i smile like so mm. just you know pop them on my cheeks like oh like i just love i live for blush i live for blush like it's just the best thing put a bit on my nose a bit of a cheeky blush on my nose all over my face like guys you see how it just like refreshes you and makes you look so mm, perky and happy blush addiction then i go in with like these two colors these like two pinky ones here just a little bit and i literally only apply this to the apples on my cheek <sighs> okay so for me next i actually i've had this for so long honestly it's ridiculous um <laughs> this is the black opal deluxe finishing powder in deep which is number five and this is just what i use to set the rest of my face And I literally, I put, a, like, you guys can see how much is in the lid, right? Just tap that like that. And just use it on my seat. Because, like, I just don't use powder like that. Because it just makes me look hella dry. And just, like, go around of a premise, the, circum the circumference of my face. And just get that powder in there just a little bit. Don't know what I'm dancing, not listening to anything, but um oh back to work. By the way, I'm taking a professional qualification called the IMC, which I'll be filming like balancing studying with work, especially working a full-time job, like it's just not easy. And I I haven't started yet. I was just like, do you know what? We're gonna get back into work mode once I get back from holiday. 
but I'm really excited like my career like how I see my career going is kind of wild because I never really I don't really like to plan that far ahead I want to collect these qualifications like infinity styles just like yep got you yep got you yep got you yep got you because I do see myself developing my um career in the finance industry especially in the investment space so that's something I'm really looking forward to. Really want to get these qualifications under my belt. Like I feel like it's something I really want to do. So I am C this year. I think next year I'll go for the CFA ESG and then see how I feel about the CFA and MBAs and all of that good stuff later on. Basically at this step, I'm almost done. I'm just gonna spray my face and then pat it in with the bottom of my beauty blender the last step is mascara i don't wear lashes to work because i i just don't have the time for that like i wear glasses and then it's just like eyelashes actually tend to make my eyes very heavy and there's just too much going on i had the better than sex mascara by um urban decay or Too faced whoever the hell made that mascara <laughs> But then um, I got, like, I went to Boots. When I tell you, the girls in Canary Wharf Boots, they be recommending things that are mwah, like. So I got this mascara, the number seven lash extender fiber mascara. It's such a good dupe and it's like 11 quid. Because I have really short eyelashes. So just having something that looks like it's there so I don't look like a naked mole rat really, really makes it pop for me i haven't been this happy in my life ever before i'm just like so in my element i'm bossing all of my goals all stages of my life as well are like moving forward i feel like i'm improving in every aspect possible and it's really interesting because before i blew up on tiktok i had like loads of doubts about like content creating and myself and just trying to figure out where i fit in this space and who am i like i was really about to go down a spiraling spiraling drain like i was gonna go down a rabbit hole and then i blew up on tiktok i guess that really did set some things into perspective for me because it was the most simple tiktok my last step is that i actually use a lip gloss so this is the rimmel oh my gloss london in clear i love putting on a clear gloss um in the morning i guess it just makes me feel good about myself <laughs> Like, yeah, the day's actually starting and I'm actually going somewhere, you know? So, yeah, and this is my hair. So, I get my hair done by Ify London I'm on IG. She's an absolute babe. And this is the finished look. This is my 10 minute work makeup routine. I'm super, like, it's just so quick and easy to do in the morning. Like, I just. And then I'm out the door or making my pack lunch before I'm out the door. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Remember to uh, smash that subscribe button. You got a massive thumbs up. Remember, next week is when I will drop my Italy vlog. So I'm really excited to show you guys how I've been running around the city of Rome. And I will catch you guys then.